a lovely welcome. Thank you. So Ben, I want to ask you, uh, do, do you regard Hugo as a love letter to cinema? I regard it as a, a love letter to life and a love letter to cinema, a love letter to memory and a love letter to our capacity as human beings to repair ourselves and others. You're playing a really grumpy toy shop owner in the film. Uh, but deep down inside this grumpy toy shop owner is really a sweetheart. I think what you'll find, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you uh, enjoy the film, is that uh, the little boy encounters many wounded or damaged people. Uh, the station inspector, the flower seller, myself, and miraculously he moves through the film repairing them, healing them. The reason why I am unpleasant at the beginning of the film is that I'm hiding a lot of pain. I won't tell you too much, but it all works out in the end. <laughs> film is really enjoyable to watch. And I want to ask you, looking back, uh, what was the most, the funniest scene to shoot? I think the most enjoyable scene for me to shoot was when I recreated uh, George uh, at the height of his power in his uh, glass studio outside of Paris, which we built outside of London. And the most thrilling experience for me, as an actor, was waiting for Martin Scorsese to say, action, so that I, as an actor, pretending to be a director, could say, action, <laughs> <laughs> to my fellow actors. And that, that really felt very good. <laughs> so, Ben Kingsley, you're not only here to, to, to promote your film. I know the festival has... So, as a surprise for you, uh, I will give the word to the director of the festival. Thank you. Dear audience. Sorry. <laughs> Dear audience. Uh, Film Fest Oslo Lifetime Achievement Award 2012 goes to Sir Ben Kingsley for his extraordinary contribution to cinema. as a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company. In 1982, he broke through in films with Gandhi, which also won him an Oscar. He also received an Oscar nomination for Bugsy, Sexy Beast, and House of Sand and Farm, and was critically acclaimed for his <coughs> parts in major films like Schindler's List and Shutter Island. Through these modern classics, he has made an important contribution to the art of film and has won a reputation as one of the most versatile actors of our time. Thank you. And because cinema is about dreaming, is about making your vision come through, we found a Scandinavian glass artist who has a wonderful uh, piece of art here called Dreams. So you want to give me. So, again, congratulations and we hope to see you back in Australia. Thank you very much. That's absolutely beautiful. I, I 
first came to your uh, beautiful country when I visited Hoggerson, and this is now my fourth visit here, and to receive uh, a welcome and an award for storytelling from a society that is so connected to its own unique Nordic mythology and expressed still through your painters and your writers. Of course, those two giants stand out, Edward Munch and Ibsen. But you are still, as a society, so connected to your essential mythology. And you should be very, very proud of that because in many parts of the world, that golden thread is snapping. And I think this film is about repairing that thread and making sure it never snaps. I am a little link in your chain, and I thank you very much. Indeed.